Campina Wamco is Nigeria's largest seller of milk and dairy products located in Lagos. For consumers in Nigeria, the Peak brand is synonymous with quality milk. Peak is available in small packages, making it affordable for the lower income group. Fleece and Campina uses mostly imported milk powder in its products. A dairy development program was set up based on a public-private partnership, involving the company with two scale projects and government agencies. The main objective of the partnership is to produce 10% of the company's raw milk from domestic resources. This requires the engagement of Fulani communities on the transition of traditional pastoralists into market-oriented milk producers. Let's have a look how it works. level in the morning the full animal milk his cow when he milks the cow then he hand over to the women and then each family will now bring the milk from their own cows to a place like this where there's like a pre-bulking all the small volumes from from the various herds are put together into the freezer campina uh, milk cans <laughs> And each woman knows the volume she supplies for that day. They have the record, they know. So by the time they, 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 the milk is taken to the MCC, the total volume of the milk is recorded, but during the payment, the money comes in individual names because each woman knows how much she has given, contributed into the 
uh, milk in Canada. It's going to the milk collection center. The transporting system at this moment, because the volume of the milk is small, we use motorcycles. Motorcycles are hired and paid from the milk by the company. They come in here and collect whatever volume in these cans and they transport them to the MCC. For every liter of milk from here, the MCC the company pay additional 10 naira per liter. Mm. She said, having been business with them in milk, present campaign also provide them with water. They can now wash their clothes, their children. She said before, they have to go and look for firewood. They boil the milk, they produce the local cheese. But now they are happy because the milk is taken fresh. But the company they don't work over the weekends. So on Saturdays and Sundays, the milk they produce, they produce the local cheese. Five days of the week, all the milk is sold to the company. From one liter of milk, if they produce local cheese, they get 100 naira. But they sell the one liter, 70 naira. The benefit of the water, they, they assume or they take is a cover. It's a cover of the loss that they get from that milk. Because the cost of looking for water is more than the 30 naira they are losing now. Hey. Get your feet off the ground and say milk, milk. Cause you're in a new town and there's milk to be delivered. But, 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 this is the reception of the milk collection center for Fresland Camina. We start reception by checking the quality of the milk. We carry out some process checks here. We do some platform tests. We do coagulation tests. We check the acidity level. We also look for the organoleptic, check for the smell, and also look at the deaths. We do resazurin here in Nigeria. We carry resazurin tests as part of our platform test. A 10 minutes test to ensure that the milk it's okay for us before we pour into cooling tap. So if he passes my 10 minutes test, after the alcohol test, the coagulation test, if he passes it, this has a ring test of 10 minutes, we are set. It's okay. After filtration, the MCC operator now pours it into the cooling tank. We cool to four degree, but here because of the distance, we make it go down to two degree. So when the truck comes, it has to load it from here to Lagos. That's a, like a six hour journey for you to attain the four degree when it gets to the factory to help the quality of the milk. No when you bring your milk and it passes our test, when we accept, we record it into this, into it. We record the dates, the quality, the quantity in liters, the milk collection operator will sign or will make a remark. We portray yes, pictures of uh, a kind of stages that we expect to see the full line is passing through. Uh, what they are doing is more or less uh, mm -hmm. like a free range system, but we are. Uh, telling them, okay, well, there's another way you can use uh, crossbreds and the improved pasture. During the dry season, they can still use their crop residues. We crush with a machine and then we kind of do some treatments, put some additives and then uh, conserve. So that in the dry season, these cows can be able to have uh, some supplements apart from what they eat to at least increase the volume of milk per cow per day.
because of the milk collection center, other small business uh, start emerging because some traders bring materials from the town, which is almost about uh, maybe 60 kilometers away from here. So this is like we're developing a hub, a business hub for the Fulanis. Everything is coming in here. And also you can see a food seller who uh, she was not there before and uh, she's selling food. So in the future, in the next maybe one year, we have a bigger shop here. We have all the activities lined up. Traders, drug sellers, feed, restaurant. So that by the time they finally produce their milk and they're here, they can still go back home with some of the needs, the things they need. They don't need to go to the town to buy.